The immortal pen of James Fenimore Cooper brings you thrilling tales of excitement. Blazing action on the early American frontier. Stirring adventures filled with the daring and courage of Hawkeye, first of the Long Rifles, and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. Sanford heard about the tribes uniting for war aren't just rumors. Noble chief of the Ottawas, Chippewa, Tuscarora, I, Kubaka, chief of the Seneca, bid you welcome to our village. We gather here in sacred cause to again unite our tribes as one mighty Iroquois nation and set our tomahawks against white invader. <laughs> Together, we will sweep him off land and drive him into sea. Kubaka speaks words filled with the impatience of the young. He is a brave and noble warrior who laughs at death. But has he the cunning and the wisdom to lead us into battle against the white man? Kubaka would never dare claim wisdom and cunning of the great chief who will lead our braves into battle. It is prophecy of Gichi Manatu great god of our people, that one day a great chief will return from happy hunting ground to inspire our braves to glorious victory over white man. Our approaches, the great chief returns to us and we will follow him to victory over our enemies. Of what great chief do you speak? Of the one and only leader of the Iroquois nation. Pontiac! Well, he's been dead for nigh on to two years. He asked me that Kabaka's been chomping on too many elderberries. Indians believe dead warrior can come back. Let's get moving. We'll get this bit of information back where it'll do some good. It's incredible. Do you believe it, Hawkeye? Well, if it did, I'd believe in wood nymphs, too. <laughs> They're a heap prettier. And what about you, Chingus Cook? You should know about these things. Nobody can come back from happy hunting ground. But Indian is superstitious, can be made to believe. I quite agree with you. The whole thing's preposterous, coming back from the dead. We know it, and you know it, Colonel Sanford. But those Indian tribes are getting all steamed up. Doesn't look like anyone's given them the message. Well, one thing is certain. If we are in for an uprising, we must be ready for it. Where do you think they'll gather their forces, Hawkeye? Well, I'd say just about in here, Colonel. That makes Fort Reliance the first line of defense. If it falls, the Iroquois will overrun every white settlement in the territory. It must be defended at any cost. Hawkeye! Chingachgook! Why didn't you tell me you were here? Well, now, Jamie, we didn't rightly get a chance to... Really, Jamie, you shouldn't interrupt when your father's having a meeting. Hawkeye and Chingachgook are my very best friends. Next to you, of course. <laughs> of course. Please forgive the intrusion. Since when did a son intrude upon his father? Hawkeye, this is Miss Parrish, Jamie's new governess. This is Hawkeye, and this is Chingachgook. How do you do? Quite nicely, thank you, ma'am. Hawkeye, when can we go out to shoot squirrels? When can we? Now, hold on. You're a little young yet. Well, uh, you told me you shot your first bear when you were six. Sixteen. It was in self-defense. Things were a little different when I was a sprout. Chingachgook, you, you said you'd teach me how to shoot a bow and arrow. When young papoose grow into big brave, big enough to pull bow, then I teach. Be a good boy and run along now, Jamie. You'll see Hawkeye and Chingachgook when they get back. Are they leaving again? They're always going away. <laughs> well, this time they're going on a very important mission. Come along now, Jamie. Now, to get back to the business at hand, Hawkeye, I'll have to ask you and Chingachgook to go with all possible speed to Fort Reliance 
And from there, proceed with a detachment of soldiers to our arsenal here. I know where it is, Colonel. Will you take me hunting tomorrow? Sure, well. Promise? Well, if I don't, I hope I turn into a raccoon. Get along with you, young man. Goodbye, Hawkeye. Goodbye, Chinichko. Bye. I'll be waiting for you. I know you shut me up for security reasons, Hawkeye. But after all, Miss Parrish is like one of the family. And a woman at that. Well, my grandpappy always told me never to trust him. Like all squaw, talk too much. Yes, well, unless you're afraid of the walls having ears, I'd like to go back to where we left off. Now, you will proceed with the soldiers to this point here. Red River? I didn't know you had an arsenal there, Colonel. The best supply of arms and ammunition in this territory. Certainly enough to equip Fort Reliance to withstand any attack. Now, how long do you think it will take you to reach the fort? Tonight is night of full moon. Make good speed on trail. Maybe two suns. Excellent. Well, Godspeed, Hawkeye. Chinggis Gook. Colonel Sanford. Yes? That uh, Miss Parrish, has she been with you long? About two months. Do you know much about her? Only that she came to us with very excellent references. Why? Just asking. She reminded me of someone. Oh, probably some tavern wench who served you supper at a wayside inn. Maybe you're right. Stomach growl like hungry bear. We eat before go on trail. Now I remember. You go feed that bear. I'll meet you at the bend of the river. Well, what you do? I'm going to pay my respects to a lady. Mind if I come in, Miss Parrish? Not customary for a lady to receive a man in her quarters. Maybe it'd be more fitting if I called you Miss Adams. Nice living quarters you got here. I suppose you're going to tell the Colonel who I am. Well, that depends. Hawkeye, please believe me when I tell you how much I want to live down my past. It's a pretty big past you've got to live down. But it's behind me. When I left Martinville and came here, I... I hoped I'd have another chance at living a respectable life. Is that too much to ask? Well, I guess everybody's entitled to another chance. You've had a whole passel of chances. I recollect that young fella in Martinville blew his brains out. Gambling money that wasn't rightly his. I heard later that you'd promised to go away with him if he got lucky. And there's that married man in Greenwood. Gonna leave his wife and three kids to take up with you. Till the women got together and ran you out of town. Hawkeye, please. Who knows what else? You've got a mighty big past to live down. All right. Tell them who I am. Tell them all about me. I'll, I'll pack my things and leave. That's not necessary. I don't aim to talk you down. Hawkeye, I... You behave yourself and I won't allow as I ever set eyes on you before. You try anything, so help me, I promise you, you'll live to regret it. Thanks, Hawkeye. No thanks necessary, Miss Parrish. You just live your life here decent like, and that'll be thanks enough.
Okay, raise hands. Seeing as how you know my name, I guess it's me you want. No more talk. Go. an easier way out, Hawkeye. I might have known. A leopard doesn't change its spots. Even in buckskins. I suppose you had Chingachgook ambush, too. You followed his trail, just like I knew you would. You're going to take us to that arsenal you were so careful not to have the Colonel mention. Pontiac and his braves have much more need for those arms than Fort Reliance. Pontiac? Up to now, you've been putting men into their graves. When did you start digging them up? Your sense of humor is amusing, Hawkeye. You know, the Iroquois, in many respects, are like children, full of childish superstitions. They believe their legends, even the one that promises the return of Pontiac from the dead. Seems to me, uh, steaming up Indian tribes is a little out of your line. Maybe you like the thought of living in a wigwam, wrapped in an Iroquois blanket the rest of your life. Not a blanket, Hawkeye, but minks and otters. Lots and lots of minks and otters. What makes you think you can get away with it? I have help. An ambitious young Indian, chief of all the Senecas. Kabaka. I might have known he'd be your hatchet man. I'm counting on other help, Hawkeye. You. Me? I need a man like you to follow through for me. You know how I feel about you. I've always felt this way. Show us the way to the guns and powder. After we've helped Pontiac and his braves, we'll go away together and live a life of luxury. Just you and me. You and me going away together is about as loony a notion as you thinking you can dig Pontiac up from the grave. You're a fool, Hawkeye. And I have no use for fools. Take them to the torture stake. my friend. Bring the Mohican. <laughs> my brother not worry. Whiplash not make me talk. I wasn't a mite worried. Your friend's about to die, slowly. Lash him. That's enough. Will you take us to the arsenal? Cut them down. going on? He comes. The word of Manitou is fulfilled. Pontiac! Noble chiefs, the day has come. 
Your great chief Pontiac has answered his destiny and has come to lead you into battle. Since the great Pontiac returned from the happy hunting ground, he has been shrouded in silence. Why should the white woman be the great Pontiac's tongue? Why can he not speak for himself? The heart of your great chief is heavy with pain because of the great wrongs done his red brothers by the white invaders. The hurt within him has sealed his lips. Pontiac is here to lead us, but great chief though he is, our braves cannot fight the white soldiers' guns with tomahawks. Pontiac needs no counsel in the art of war, Aganu. Why do you think he had the woodsmen known as Hawkeye and the Mohican brought here? Because they know where the white man keeps his guns and powder. The Iroquois nation will reward the white woman. When the Iroquois again possesses the land which is rightfully his, this will be my reward. Yeah! Guns in hands of Iroquois, bad medicine. My brother Hawkeye, not speak under whiplash. Why he talked to save me? I told you to stop fretting about it. If I hadn't told him I'd take him to an arsenal, they'd have stripped your back like a venison steak. Me not mind to die, to save many lives. Now, if you go to the happy hunting ground, who's gonna cook my vittles? We were born soldiers at arsenal. Stop fretting about it. There won't be any soldiers at the arsenal we're taking them to. Passed off that simple-minded Iroquois for Pontiac and do credit to one of them lawyer fellas from Philadelphia. You can make Indians believe anything they want to believe. Yeah, you're proving your point about that. Imagine being lucky enough to find an Indian who's the spitting image of Pontiac. Got the mind of a child, too. I guess you might call it luck at that. I found the big oaf wandering around begging for food. But you must admit it's an ingenious plan I made work. Yeah. You think nothing of the innocent lives it'll cost. Not my life. Or yours, Hawkeye. Now you're being a weak, dependent woman again. Why don't you swallow your foolish pride, Hawkeye? I've swallowed mine. I can't help feeling the way I do about you. And if I don't do exactly as you say, there's always the torture stake to show me the error of my ways. There'll be no torture stake where we're going. When we're rich enough, we'll move on. We'll travel to London, Paris, Madrid, Venice. Have you ever seen a Venetian moon while drifting in a gondola on a canal? Well, now, the last time I remember paying any heed to the moon, I was drifting down a creek on a log raft. A band of Hurons had enough light to get a bead on me. You know, sometimes you sound as if you like the life you lead here among the backwoods, dirty-faced wretches. Those backwoods, dirty-faced wretches are building a nation. They're good people. Why are we stopping here? This is it. This is what? The arsenal. What kind of a trick is this? The only military arsenal I've ever seen was bristling with soldiers. You don't need guards for something you can't find in the first place. Chingage cook. You'll find what you're looking for in there. Well, I didn't think the Colonel was capable of such cleverness. Kubaka, bring some of your braves and follow us. The rest of you stay here and guard the entrance. Sir, so, huh? yeah. Lead the way. All right. So you really think you can get away with a fool cause like this? The only cause I'm interested in is my own game. What if those Iroquois out there know that? They never will. 
They'll continue to believe in me until they serve their use. They won't be liking it when they find out their Pontiacs are fake. Something you made up to get what you want out of them. They'll have no way of knowing that until it's too late. Now take me to the guns. What is this? There's the guns and powder I promised you. There's not enough powder there to supply more than two men. There's more than enough for me and Ching. It's good to go on a hunting trip. We kill her. A very clever ruse, Hawkeye. But if you think stalling for time will help you, you're wrong. I can assure you, you're going to delay matters slightly. Well, I promised to take you to the arsenal. And this is ours. You've tricked me for the last time. Bring them outside. Seize them. He tricked us. There are no guns here. Pontiac orders you to seize them. Don't you, Pontiac? He is not Pontiac. What do you mean? I certainly he's Pontiac, your chief. The white woman has betrayed herself. Betrayed myself? I, I don't know what you're talking about. It isn't too tough to figure out. I knew if you kept yapping long enough, you'd yap yourself into trouble. That cave has an echo. These Indians and their chiefs heard every word you said in there. Kind of puts an end to your uprising, Kavaka. What do you mean? Without guns, without a chief, I don't see you getting very far. Long Rifle speaks with a wise tongue. We will take the white woman back to our village for punishment. You can't do that, Aganu. The white woman will be punished by white man's law. I give you my word on it. Hawkeye's words are good medicine. Kavaka. You have brought shame on the Iroquois nation. You cannot be condemned. You have the mind of a child. We will take you back to your people. Take them away. Farewell. We better get started, Miss Parrish. What are you going to do with me? The only thing I can do, take you to the capital where you'll be tried for treason. Treason? Won't have much of a chance, will I? Better for you, white man's trial, than Indian justice. I'm sorry. I'm rightly sorry. Join us again at this same time next week for another of James Fenimore Cooper's gripping tales of the early American frontier. Another exciting adventure of Hawkeye and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. <laughs>